Hey, this is Jerry from Bliss Studio, and in this particular tutorial, we are going to set up a light box that we're gonna set up with the XR Grab component, and then we're gonna be able to attach that to another game object using the XR Socket Interactor. So if you're ready to get started, let's go. Okay, so here I am in Unity. I want to set up an XR Grab component. So I'm gonna add this box that we can then attach to this light pole to then make this light work. So for us to do this, let's go ahead and first make this box an interactable object that we can then grab and pick up. I want to have it fall to the ground and then we'll be able to pick it up and then attach it. So for us to be able to do that, the first thing we need to do is to make this an XR grab component. So I add that component and it adds a rigid body. So with this rigid body, first we need to make sure that the collision detection is set from discrete to become continuous dynamic. All right, then down in the XR grab interactable component, you can see that we have a bunch of different options here. One is we want to go ahead and smooth position and smooth rotation. Now, if we look down at the bottom, we've got an option here for attach transform. Let's say I want it to be able to attach to my hand or to this other component in a different location. I need to set up an attach transform. So for us to be able to do that, it's simple as just creating an empty game object. So I'm gonna create an empty and I'm gonna call this attach point. And with this attach point, I wanna take that and make the that the transform of my attach point. So this is where it's going to attach to my hand and also where it's going to attach to another game object. So with this attach point, I'm gonna move this to be the very left hand side of this game object right about there. And let's just make sure it's in the center. Yeah, that looks good. Cool, so that is set up. So now I'm gonna be able to grab that and be able to attach it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just rotate this a little bit. That way it, when it falls to the ground, it'll fall a little more naturally so that when it falls, it's gonna fall kind of flat. And then we can pick it up and then attach it to this box base. So we need to go ahead and set up our box base to be an XR socket interactor. All right, so this is going to allow us to whatever we grab and pick up to be able to attach to that game object. We're gonna add an XR socket interactor. And then first we need to make sure that this box collider is changed from just a regular collider to a trigger collider. I just wanna edit this trigger so that it gives us a little bit of room so that we can actually move our hand within that space to then attach that electric box. So I made that just a little bit bigger so that we have some room to move our hand. Okay, now that we've set that up, let's go back to our XR Interactor. And we have an option here for Attach Transform. Again, this is just like the electric box that I set up. I wanna go ahead and add an attach point that is going to be the point where this gets added. So I'm gonna add a new empty game object and we'll call this attach point again. And then I'm gonna change the location of this attach point. I wanna have it to be the very right hand side of this. That way those two points will connect together. And then I go back to my light box and I need to just add that transform to my attach transform area on my component. There we go. So this should work. So let's go ahead and give this a test real quick to see how it works. So here I am in Unity. So I'm gonna get over here by my box. And there's my box. I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. And now it's in my hand at my attach point. And then I'm gonna attach it to my game object. And you can see it's automatically putting the shape of where that box is going to attach to. And then if I let go, boom, now it's attached to my light box. Now it's attached to my light pole but the light doesn't turn on. And we're gonna address that in the next tutorial. But we can now grab this component and attach it to another game object. There we go. Hey, hope you enjoyed that tutorial and it's something you can use for your game. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time.